Hey everybody. I'm really having a hard time doing this because it's not focusing properly, but if you can see right dead center of your screen that little tiny white worm that is crawling across the glass, or acrylic in this case, that is a planaria, and I'm sorry to say that that is the closest I'm going to be able to get you a look at it. I've been trying and trying uh, to get some good video of a planaria. I just shot a video recently about detritus worms, and I mentioned that they are often mistaken for planaria. Um, well, this tank actually has planaria in it, and I wanted to show you the actual difference of what they look like, but it doesn't look like it's going to be able to come out on video, so I'm going to actually explain it to you. Uh, there is a big difference. For one, detritus worms are harmless to your animals. They literally just eat the detritus and uneaten food and stuff at the bottom of your tank. Uh, they just sort of seem to crop up out of nowhere. If your tank is dirty, you'll get them. Um, they're nothing to worry about. They are an indication that you need to do a little more, uh, better job cleaning your tank. Um, but you can really think about them as part of your cleaning crew in the bottom. Planaria, on the other hand, are parasitic. They're actually carnivores and they eat little micro crustaceans um, and things like that. So in this case, this is my snail tank and my shrimp tank you're looking at. And I've not been able to actually breed any snails in here. I know people have problems with pond snails in their aquarium and they can't get them out. I have actually can't breed them. And I can't because of these planaria. And if you have planaria in your tank, um, they can actually attach to some lazy, you know, fish that might sleep on the bottom and actually do physical damage to your animals. But they also do damage to shrimps, shrimp eggs, snails, anything like that in your tank. Planaria will attack and uh, do damage to. So you really do need to pay attention. And the key difference is that the detritus worms are tube worms. And the planaria, we'll go ahead and stop looking at that tank because it's kind of boring and we will look at this tank which is the one I've got my detritus worms in. The planaria are actually flat worms and not tube worms so when you look very closely at them if it just looks like a little white tube and it seems to be almost attached to your glass at one end rather than the length of it it is going to be a detritus worm if it looks like a leech or something that is flat against the glass and it's crawling lengthwise across the glass like the same way a snail might crawl um, in an undulating sort of fashion that is a planaria. Planaria also have a distinctly and noticeable pointed triangular shaped head almost like an arrowhead on them. Um, if you have those in your tank you need to be concerned. You need to get them out um, but most people don't ever encounter actual planaria. Most people just have these little harmless white detritus worms. Um, the reason I have planaria, we'll go ahead and look at this tank for a minute now. Uh, this tank has no issues whatsoever. It's just a pretty tank, so we can look at it for a moment while I yammer on. Um, the planaria come from natural sources, streams, rivers, lakes, things like that, and they're usually on and attached to plants. And in the tank we were just looking at, my snail tank, um, I have Gamara shrimp in there which are causing a problem. I didn't know what they were for the longest time. I used to actually confuse them for baby cherry shrimp until someone, uh, one of my viewers, actually told me what they were. So thanks again for that if you're still watching. Um, them and the planaria probably came in, I know they came in in fact, on the rocks that are in that tank. They're actually just, I'll call them wild rocks because I collected them out of the stream. And I deliberately did not treat them because I wanted it to be as natural of an environment as possible for these snails to grow. So I saw all the squiggly little things all over it when I put it in the tank. I thought that that would just be a good natural environment. And what I was doing was I was actually incorporating predatory animals into a closed system that in turn had no nothing preying on them. There was nothing there to eat the planaria, so the planaria were actually getting out of control. It was a very unbalanced situation, and I wound up killing off all my snails and all my shrimp eggs. So that tank is getting wiped out today, um, sterilizing it and starting it over. Um, and it's just it's due to those planaria. I'm not even really going to take a chance on taking the shrimp that are in there out. I'm actually going to put them in my brackish tank. We can have a look at very briefly. I'm still in the process of getting this cleaned up. Um, so I'm going to put the shrimp in this brackish tank and the puffer I have in here may eat them, speaking of which, uh, he's ready for his breakfast. 
Um, he may eat the shrimp, he may not. I've had a ghost shrimp in this tank for almost a year now, and he never bothers it, so he may leave the shrimp alone. I've got a couple ghost shrimp and a couple cherry shrimp. And just to be on the safe side, uh, for fear of introducing those planaria into another tank, if I put those shrimp in another tank, um, I'm going to put them in my brackish tank because I do not believe the planaria will be able to withstand the sudden shock of going into the slightly salty water. So the shrimp will be fine. Um, the planaria, if there are any, or eggs or anything like that, will be killed off by the brackish water. So that's where my shrimp are going. Everything else in that tank is getting dumped. The tank's getting wiped, and I'm going to start it over. Um, I'm probably going to do it even a little bit differently than just a jumble of rocks in the bottom. I might even put a couple plants in there. Who knows? So that was my update for this morning. I'm really, 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 really trying to work myself into tearing this tank apart and getting that big catfish out of the bottom. That is like my big project and I've just been putting it off and putting it off. So maybe today's the day. I hope today's the day. I'm planning on today being the day, but I know how that goes. So let's see what happens. So thanks for watching. Uh, please sub. That way you won't miss any updates. I, it's hit or miss with me. I'll do a bunch of videos and then I'll go a week without doing any. So just subscribe. That way you get them when they come out. You won't miss anything and you will stay abreast of all the many changes that happen down here in my fish room. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned something. And I hope you don't have any planaria in your fish tank. Alright everybody. See you soon.